well, comedian Ria Lena joins us in the studio now. Ria, what do you reckon? Um, do you reckon that, that, that Richard Curtis should be regretting these jokes that he's made in the past, or do you, do you think he's learned his lesson? Do you know, I think it is about whether he should or he shouldn't. I think it's the fact that he is. Mm -hmm. He is looking back and he is seeing in his old work through current eyes. And I think there's a lot of people that agree with him. Yeah. Are they looking at their work through current eyes um, and regretting what they did? Is there not just an acknowledgement that, that, Ria, that the world's changed? I mean, this is a really interesting... My gosh, that is the most left-wing question you've ever asked, Jeremy. Really. <laughs> I've been I did my best. For a while. I'm being serious. I know the world's changed, but you can't apologise for everything. Listen to this. This is interesting. Tina, we've got loads of response to this section. There was no one more loved or more relevant than Robin Williams. Nothing was off limits. He was a comedic genius. That's why we loved him. He must be turning in his grave to see what's happening to comedy now because they look back the whole time. I think it's a very relevant point. I, I'm, and I'm trying to think of something that Robin Williams said that that in any way was was offensive. He did cover a wide range of topics. He wore a fat suit for this. Mrs Doubtfire. Is that disrespectful? No, that was Mrs Doubtfire. He was pretending to be a Scottish nanny. I don't are we implying that, that all that Scottish is, nannies I mean, are overweight? Do we even have enough time in this segment to discuss Mrs Doubtfire? <laughs> what a film. <laughs> in itself. Uh, but, well, the thing is, is that if you want to be successful, you're going to want to make most of the people laugh most of the time, mm. all right? Nobody's really said that anything's per se off limits, but it might limit who's going to enjoy your artwork. So Ava Santina and I were talking about this earlier mm. in our paper review. Uh, the fat jokes that he would make about Bridget Jones mm. uh, and about Marty McCutcheon's character in Love Actually, where the char uh, another character called her the chubby one which she wasn't at all. We were led to believe, uh, me as a young girl, that Bridget Jones was overweight or even fat. And I look at her now with modern eyes and go, she hardly had anything on her. No, but it's I a think... film! But part of that, part of that was the fact that the actress herself, Renny Zellweger, it was a whole publicity campaign yeah, about how much weight she had to put on yes. for it because they didn't even cast somebody... Mm. Uh, you know, that, that Who naturally, was a bit naturally bigger or naturally would fit, yeah. that, would fit that role. I think the Bridget Jones thing is interesting. I don't think that, I mean, yes, there were a lot of fat jokes, but what I think that was, if you look at the original Helen Fielding books, you know, he didn't completely rewrite the books. This was a character that was sad to be single. She was mm -hmm. obsessed about her weight. Uh, I think the issue was, is that it was, it was screenwritten by a straight white male instead of perhaps a woman that yeah. could understand exactly what Helen Fielding was getting at with yeah. that character and then just portray that the way that we women would understand. Can I which, give you which... Stephen, both of you? Just, this is ridiculous okay. apologising for a joke written 30 years ago. If it was funny then, in my mind, it's funny now. I'm sick of being expected to accept that everything I've ever learned, loved and laughed at is wrong. No it is not that, wrong, Stephen. simply a reflection of my life and times. No, I'm That's sorry about the reflection of your life and times, Stephen. But, but, but no, he has a right to that opinion. And I have a right to have an yes. opinion on his opinion. Um, so, when we move to the, the, the topic of minorities in Richard Curtis films, okay. there's no doubt, you watch Notting Hill, there's not a single black character in it. That's true. You watch Love Actually, there are very few black characters in it. And that's, you know, London in the noughties or Notting Hill in the 90s. Or that's Richard Curtis and his very limited experience yes. of life. He said himself, he went to Harrow and then he went to Oxford and he never looked outside of that. No. And that really is a question about who are we allowing to write art and who are we turning to? And that is, you know, brings us on to the diversity question. Mm. I know a lot of people are going, why do we have so much diversity? So that we can have a wider range of authentic artwork put in front of us, comedy or otherwise. Yeah. Uh, in terms of what's on or off limits, I mean, we, we cover all things in drama. All things are covered. Well, what, 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 why you're, you're, she got a lovely tour on Rear Awakening. I'll get that, tour 2023. Uh, where are you, see, well, over that, we're getting free tickets to put you on, is that right? Where are you, yeah. where are you next? Where are you now? I'm good, well, I'm going to be, I'm going to be in Leeds on Thursday. I'm doing Cambridge. Uh, we're going to do more dates in Guildford and Maidenhead because the first two sold out. First of November at the London Comedy Show. Uh, and what's your, what's your favourite joke? What, try and make me laugh. T oh tell me an unpolitically correct... I'm going to tell you my mother's favourite joke. Go on, then. Did you hear about the Miracle Baby? No. no. It was born with a penis and a brain. <laughs> see, that just... You see, that absolutely sums up that I'm surrounded, Kevin. Did you hear that joke? It's very anti-men. It is very <laughs> anti-men. Sexist <laughs> joke, anti-men. Uh, That's the you problem. You can't say anything nowadays. No, <laughs> listen. Oh, well, listen, Ria Lena, I love that. Ria, Ria, yeah. Ria, Ria, Reawakening.
reawakening. It's uh, where can they so find much. out more? Where can they find out more? Uh, Realina.com. All tickets are on there. But you two email me and we'll get your tickets. Fabulous. Absolutely. Let's just point out though, Love Actually was a fantastic film and it was a massive hit. But there we go. It uh, was. It's my. It's oh, my, I've torn my up your thing. Film. I didn't mean to do that. I thought it was a piece of paper. I was. That is no Sorry, way a reflection. Look, we'll now, put it back together. Now you have to come to the show and you have to laugh at every every, every joke. single joke. Every if joke. You send me tickets. Listen, I will do. I go anywhere for free, don't I? Care? Do you yes, get sick and tired of people saying, "Yo, you're a comedian. Make me laugh." Because I think every time sure. someone meets me or you, they go, oh, yeah, yeah, you did the breakfast show. Tell me some news. Well, they